All right, for more on this, we are now being joined by Ajay Bagga. He's a market expert joining us from Mumbai. Mr. Bagga, thank you so much for joining me on World Business Watch. Always a pleasure to speak with you, sir. What is your outlook for gold going forward? Yeah, uh, if you look at uh, gold, uh, February, it was at 2000, September, mm -hmm. it peaked. And, uh, you know, going into the U.S. elections, we saw uh, some softness coming in. And once uh, the Trump uh, election uh, or uh, the success of uh, President Trump in winning the elections was clear, uh, we saw a lot of uh, outflows from gold ETFs. Nearly $600 million went off in the week ending November 8th uh, uh, globally from gold ETFs. Uh, so uh, overall, what's happening with gold? One, uh, it is a non-interest uh, yielding asset. Mm. Uh, so when uh, rates go down, it tends to uh, do better. But with the Trump presidency and mm. Trump control of the U.S. Congress, what happens is the U.S. Uh, uh, rate cut outlook has got postponed. Uh, so we saw some softness on that. Second was uh, on the geopolitical front, uh, the gold was being bought uh, by uh, 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 high net worth individuals uh, based on uh, the uh, uh, risk uh, seen on the geopolitical front. Mm. But again, with the Trump presidency, uh, mm. that geopolitical premia has started going out of gold. Third is uh, the very big driver of gold is central bank buying. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, year, about 694 tons of gold has been bought by central banks globally, including the Reserve Bank of India. But with Trump's uh, victory mm. and a strong dollar, what is happening is you would have seen India's FX reserves have come down from 700 billion to 675 billion. Mm -hmm. The emerging market currencies are being used now, the, their dollar reserves are being used to protect their currencies. So that incremental gold buying has kind of dried out. Mr. So Baba, it's Trump. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I just wanted to also get your thoughts on the impact that will that we'll see on gold vis-a-vis -vis the boost that we've seen on cryptos ever since Trump has won. What are your thoughts on that? See, crypto uh, is a reaction against misgovernance by governments who are mm. not balancing their balance, uh, their budget. So uh, US, for example, is uh, the federal government earns 4.25, mm. but it spends $6 trillion. Uh, so uh, crypto is more a uh, revolt against fiat currencies, against governments uh, which have gone bonkers after 2008 on fiscal uh, deficit. So uh, crypto has uh, benefited by uh, twin uh, moves. One, Trump brings in uh, deregulation and he is uh, uh, pro-crypto. And with uh, people like Elon Musk playing a dominant role in his cabinet, uh, crypto has benefited. And mm. second, uh, crypto is a libertarian theme, uh, which gold used to be. Gold has also benefited from that libertarian theme mm. that your dollar, your rupee, uh, it's not worth the paper it's printed on because there is no gold backing it after 1971 mm. when Nixon went off the gold standard. India doesn't have enough gold to back all the currency that we have printed. So, uh, mm. you know, gold used to be a libertarian theme. Now crypto has, uh, uh, you know, substituted Understood. it to some extent. I hear your point. Mr. Baga, you mentioned this briefly in the earlier response. I wanted to just, you know, ask you to focus a little more on that. Uh, what do you make of the recent moves in the Indian markets? And when can we expect Indian stocks to recover from the recent correction? See, uh, the la biggest issue for Indian markets has been FII selling. And mm. that's hitting all the emerging markets. It's a myth that China uh, has taken away money from India. It did happen for two weeks. September 24th, when China announced its stimulus, till about October 8th, their lunar year, uh, uh, their uh, annual holiday, we saw about $53 billion going into Chinese markets. But after that, for the next five weeks, nearly $20 billion has come out of China. So China, like the, uh, all the other EMs, is suffering. India is also seeing uh, that outflow. What happened last week was uh, a good thing that the intensity of the FII selling has reduced. So if that reduces, you will see Indian markets are going up. Uh, but our issues are as follows. One, FII outflows. Second, earnings slowing down. So earnings were underwhelming for the last quarter. 
uh, that uh, disappointed markets, our valuations were on the higher side. Mm. So we were getting a premium on our growth, but the growth didn't come in and the economy is slowing down in pockets. So uh, government spending fell between March and July because yes. of the national elections. Uh, now it is picking up. Yes. Uh, Mr. Baka, and finally, I just want to also get your thoughts on this. Do you feel gold will regain its allure before the end of the year? Yes, it will. We will see around 2,800 gold mm -hmm. uh, by end of the year. And next year, we are expecting 3,000 to $3,100 of gold. All right. Those are optimistic figures. Of course, we'll get to know in time. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Mr. Bagga. That was Ajay Bagga joining me from Mumbai.